Jessie from Jessie Shelf, and today I have my TBR for Diversathon January 2017. Now this is a readathon where we read diverse books. It's my first time taking part. They did it, I believe, in October of 2016, and I was just not prepared, so I couldn't join in. But this time, I'm really prepared. I put a lot of thought into my TBR, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'm really excited about the books I'm going to read. One of my book resolutions is to read more diversely, and you know what? Being in this readathon is really gonna help, but like I have been searching diverse books probably since ugh, November of 2016, and I have found so many I want to read. So that this this readathon has really helped me. It's really opened my eyes, and yeah, I'm just super excited. Um, if you want to join in, it's not too late. The readathon is taking place January 22nd through the 29th, and I will be sure to link down all the info below if you want to check out more stuff for Diversathon. Now. Onto my TBR. So there is a group book for this readathon, and I really enjoy reading group books. I like to read along with people. I like to participate in discussions about the group book. And the group book for this readathon is *The Underground Railroad* by Colson Whitehead. Now this is about a young girl during the slave trade. She is African, and her and a boy escape through the Underground Railroad. Um, I believe she's pregnant. I believe she murders someone along the way. I briefly read the dust jacket. Um, I'm really excited for this because I remember learning about the Underground Railroad and I feel like I read a book about it like a long 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 time ago and I feel like it really interested me and yeah so I'm really excited for this. Now the rest of my TBR I really really handpicked. I've been thinking about this TBR for a month and I've taken books from different parts of diversity and I have quite a variety of diverse books. Now the first book I have is Of Fire and Size by Audrey Colehurst and this is an LGBTQ book and this is about a princess that goes to marry a prince and she falls in love with the prince's sister. Um, I'm so excited for this. If you guys follow CC from Problems of a Bookworm, you know that she loves this book. She has hyped it up so much and she makes it sound so good. So I'm just, I'm so excited for this. This is probably going to be one of the first books I read during the readathon. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff about feminism lately and I realize that I agree with a lot of feminist views, but I don't quite call myself a feminist because I don't know enough about it. I'm one of those people when I'm going to call myself something or stand by something, I really want to know all the ins and outs of it. So I've picked up We Should All Be Feminists. I'm not even going to say the author's name because I will butcher it. Um, this is just a short little blurb, obviously, about why we should all be feminists. I've heard great little things about this book, and I'm really excited. It's like 40 pages, so it's perfect for a readathon. I also really wanted to read a book about mental health, and I'm so excited I realized I had one, and that is Made You Up by Francesca Zappea. Now, this book is about um, a girl who has schizophrenia, and she's basically going out into society and learning how to deal with society and her schizophrenia. I think that's what it's about. I just I'm super excited for this. Emma Books um, really liked this book. She recommended it and I just, I think it's going to be so good. I hope so anyway. I hope it's done well. Another book I have on my TBR is Our Story, Aboriginal Voices on Canada's Past. Now when I found this book, I was looking for a book about residential schools in Canada because I really wanted to educate myself on that part of Canada's history because I feel like I did not learn enough about it in high school and I learned a little bit about it in college when I took a human diversity course. So I found this little gem and this book, all the authors are Indigenous and Canadian. It's written by multiple authors. So it's a collection of stories, I believe, um, about people's experience with Canada's government and the history, how it has affected them, and I think there are a couple um, Aboriginal myths kind of retold as well. So I'm very excited for this. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a real eye-opener and I can't wait to dive into it. And lastly on my TBR I have Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ning. Now this book is about a Chinese family in the 1970s living in Ohio and they have high hopes for their one daughter and then they find the daughter's body in the lake. So it's diverse, it is an own voices book, and it is a mystery, which just sounds perfect to me. All right, guys, and that completes my Diversathon TBR. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're taking part in this readathon. Link your TBR videos down below. I would love to see what everyone's reading. I am so excited for this readathon, and like I did for the Winter Biennial Bibliothon, I will be vlogging, so stay tuned for that. I hope you all have a great day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is where you are, and I'll see you in my next video.